Bob wanted you to do. But I'm going to go back over here. Okay. So. Everything all right? No. These guys, these guys were over here putting their sign on my face and hit me in the head with it. And I asked the officer there to do it. I want to get his name. Yeah, let's do it. family time, guys. Yes, Officer Carson, C A R S O N. Everything's been recorded and it's being recorded now. We don't want a problem, sir. We, we, oh, I have a problem. Yeah. Well, let's just, let's, just, just, let's just talk it out, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna we, we, we just don't want people getting touching us and hitting us with signs. Well, nobody, and that sort of. nobody touched him. Well, he said he said that he did. Hey, I, I watched him turn wow. into somebody, but nobody, that, nobody reached witness. out and touched him that well, I saw. Okay, which is why, right, which is why right. I'm, I'm going to stop you, and I'm just going to have you listen to me just for a moment. Okay. Which is why I asked him, do you want to file a criminal complaint? I'm happy to take a criminal complaint. But he told me no, he didn't want to, so now I'm done. Okay, that's so, fine. I mean, if he wants to file a criminal complaint, I'm happy to do so. That's fine. I was, I was just saying they were, they were obviously poking him. They had the sign up in his face and all that. And they're allowed to do that, sir. Actually, actually, by law, they're not. Actually, by they, law, they, have, they, are. they have to give us space to practice freedom no, of speech. No, they don't. You know, they can't, they, you, I please, can't be up in your face please, like that. That's illegal. No. Nope. That's illegal to do that. Yes, it is. They, that, yes, it is, sir. Well, under what Florida that's state fine. statute? That's, okay. sir, under well, that's what, what, what I was taught. That's what I was told. Maybe I'm well, wrong. Well, yeah. just, because, just because you were told that that's it. Very doesn't make it true, does it? Okay. Well, maybe I was, maybe, on, maybe I was misinformed. Hold on. Hold on. Answer my question. Just because you were told that, does that make it true? Well, it makes sense. Hold on. Hold on. That wasn't my answer. That wasn't my question. Okay. Well. Just well, because this, okay. you were told that, does that make it true? It's a yes or no question. No. no. So oh, well, you, it could be you, true. <laughs> if you're able to tell me a Florida state true. statute that says that I can't be within a certain amount of space, so you, I'm happy to look well, at that. Well, but if he's getting and touched myself. and stuff, that's... Well, hold on. And well, I told you. Turned into a sign. Yeah. I saw him turn and, into a sign. And then furthermore, I asked yeah. him if he wanted to follow up. We don't, we don't have the video evidence, yeah. so I'm not going to make an issue yeah. over it. But, well, but the, whole, the whole point is, is I mean, you know, you know, you should, you should want to keep the peace a little bit. That's all I'm saying. Hold on. Who's disturbing the peace here, sir? I'm not disturbing the peace. Oh, I would, I would argue differently. Well, instigating. actually, the judge argues argue against you. You're instigating yeah. this stuff. That's why we can't. That's why we don't get in trouble for this. Yeah. I'm not disturbing hold the on, peace. Hold on, hold on. You, your job is to keep the peace so that people don't no, 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 uh, no, no, people no, don't no, do no, violent acts no, towards us. Yes, no. it is. That's your job. That's your opinion. And, no, that's the that's the job of the police officer. Really? And you're rejecting it by saying that people can get in our face no. and touch us with signs. That's all I'm saying. No. We don't want an issue. But if you do your job, people okay. would keep their distance. Hold on, hold on. You're not understanding. If you would like to hire us for your personal security, I do hire you. I pay for the taxes. Oh, then I'll tell you what. That's the problem. That's the problem. The people don't. People don't understand the laws nowadays. The police are here to protect and serve, but they want to protect the wicked. They want to protect this civilians instead of protecting the rights of the citizens. I pay your salary with my taxes, just like everybody else. A small percentage, but I still pay for it. And sir, yeah, I sure you are, because you don't love Jesus. Because you don't love Jesus. If you fear God and you love Jesus, you protect us. The police officers even are in sin. That's the problem. You guys are living in sin. Everybody's giving over to covetousness. You guys don't understand that you, you should protect the men of God. God, there's no authority except what God has given. I want to preach right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. I understand. Okay, you were told that he didn't want to press charges. And I, He's mocking me. I mean, it's, no, I'm, I'm it's fine. And I oh, oh, I thought you were talking about him. Yes, you did. You mocked me. I'll give you your four cents back. I explained to your friend. Well, you said some, you're mocking. Your, you're just a mocker. Your, your friend said, hey, you're hitting you with a sign. Okay, I seen him turn into a sign. I told him, hey, if you guys are hitting him with a sign, give him a space. Face, don't hit him with the sign. And they well, well, when, people, when people are barricading him in and they're, they're getting his face right. and intimidating him, I mean, it's a simple thing just to tell people to back off, and that's all I was saying. But you, no, but you no, said, you said, you said, you said, yeah, I know why you don't want to do it because you don't agree with what we're with God, that and that's what I'm trying to tell you. You might, you might not be here, but you might not have to do it, but you should be willing to do it because you are given the authority by God, and you do not use it for what God would want you to use it for. And that's what I was telling you. Whether or not it's right lawfully, it's not right morally, and that's what I'm telling you. I'm here for a moral law. You know what the moral law is above the law that you have, and you're going to give an account to God. And that's what I'm afraid of, because even the police officers are misusing their authority. You are. I don't have any complaint. I was preaching. Thank you. And you need Jesus. Okay, I'll listen to you. You. We're saying that these people are getting in your face. And well, I saw it. I watched it. They were all around them, and they were I'm in on them. I'm not saying they're not, and I'm not saying they are. But uh, you gotta understand, all this commotion is happening because you guys are doing this. But right? you don't understand the purpose why we're here. Well, no, God sent us here, sir. Well, it, well, well, yeah, but you're, you're blaming us for what other people, other people's violence, other people's wanting to hurt us. It's a yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. You're, you're, you are blaming us. You're blaming us. Nobody wants. Nobody wants people to yell on their kids. No matter what. Because you understand. You have faith in God. You don't believe in what's going to happen when you die, man. I believe in God. Well, you don't know. Any one of these people could die tonight. You don't understand the danger that people are in if they if they die apart from God. I understand that. Well, well, but you're making you're making it like our purpose is null and void out here, and that's that's just. Serious. I didn't say that. Yes, I it said, is. You're, you're, you're not defending you guys, us. Not defending our purpose. And that's what. You don't have to. 
You don't have by law. Maybe my, you don't have to. Okay. My, my purpose is to keep right. the peace. If somebody hits you, yeah, but but you, you kind of you kind you, you you could do it a lot more effectively. And that's all I was saying by just telling people, hey, back off. But you I, won't. I not willing I, to do it. I told them maybe that, you, but ask not him. Your, ask your buddy. I went over and I said, hey guys, get in space because he's. he's that's whatever. all I was saying. But he was fighting me on the surface. Right, but don't take it out on me. I'm not taking it out on you. You're, you're taking you, that on me because just, he's not doing something. You just told me that, so I appreciate you doing that. That's all I was saying. But you're, yeah, see what I'm saying. See now. See, see what's going on? I'm not. I didn't take anything out on you, but I I do take issue with the fact when you say we're the one causing the problem. The sin that people are living in is causing. You're, you're the drunkards out here getting behind the wheel. They're the oh, ones causing the problem. But I mean, and I'm our, calling those drunkards our, out of their sin so that they would be saved and not cause you dead bodies to go clean up. Here. Oh, yeah. if you wanted peace, you would defend what we're doing because we're the ones calling people out of their wickedness. Yeah, wickedness is what's causing people to way. die. They come here to have a good time. It doesn't matter. Wants to hear it doesn't matter. They're still, they're still causing danger. So, it, if, I, so, so if you're yelling, they yell, and you get mad because they're yelling. I have a message that, that, of change that, for them, sir. That, I have a message of... That doesn't make sense because I you're a, mad because they're doing their I'm not mad. They're doing I'm not the mad. Thing you guys are doing. Yeah, so I'm, if you're drowning you out, you guys... I'm like, concerned that people are going to cause it's, it's danger. You have no faith. You, you really have no understanding what I'm speaking. People are standing around if you understood the Bible, you understood God. sin, righteousness, and judgment, you understand why I'm here. You understand that people are in danger, and this type of anger that you see coming out of these people, it's going to inevitably come out. And God wants it to come out now so they would get saved now. Rather than something worse happened later. I almost got killed by a guy with a machete because he had demons. He was he was using drugs, looking at pornography, and he almost took my life. You don't think God would have rather had that guy get saved before he almost took it to that degree? He did two years in prison because he committed assault with a deadly weapon on a minister. But you know what? That's what people are full of. They, they would go to nth degrees, full of demons. Hey, you a cookie? Will you leave for a cookie? Look, I care for you, buddy. You can mock me and, and say all that. I'm not mocking you. Yes, you are. I'm not mocking you at all. I want, I want, I want God to, I want to see you blessed. You can get lip cancer, man. You, what, what good is your church service doing you? God bless you. God bless you. I appreciate you stepping in. Thank you. We go to church on Sunday. I care for you. I respect the law. I want the law. I want there to be a law full society. There are a bunch of law breakers out here. Some of you probably got drugs in your pocket right now. And you're laughing at the cops. You're laughing at the cops. Oh, I got cocaine and marijuana in my pocket and they can't do nothing about it. Folks, you need to fear God. You know, your chewing tobacco should be illegal. It's destroying your lips. Your sin is destroying your body. They're destroying my ears. That's the problem, man. You can't have ears to hear. I love you. I don't want you to get cancer. Don't you want, don't you want to get saved? Don't you want to understand salvation? Jesus Christ making you a new creation. The Bible says, if any man's in Christ, he's a new creation. Hey, Behold, all things pass away and all done. things become new. I'm a new creation in Christ. That you may know the spirit of wisdom and understanding and all knowledge. That you might have the enlightenment. It says that you may know the truth. That you may be filled and fully please God. Walking in the righteousness of Christ. But there's sin out here on these streets. See, the cops don't see it. The people don't see it. Your friends don't see it. Your family members don't care. But God is crying out to you. The Bible says there'll be a great shaking on those days. It says that such a shaking, it says, will never be and never will be until those days. And unless the Lord would have shortened those days, no flesh would be saved, the Bible says. Don't be swept away. Don't be swept away in homosexuality. Don't be swept away in drug use. Don't be swept away in marijuana. Don't be swept away. Be saved. Be redeemed. Because I don't want you to go to hell. You're going to understand God's judgment. It's according to truth. Your kids are at stake. The Bible says, blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. It says their children have a place of refuge. Oh, it says that blessed are those who keep his covenants to remember them to do them, but you've forgotten God. Oh, they know therefore and see that it is an evil and bitter thing that you have forsaken the Lord your God and the fear of God is not in you, says the Lord God of hosts. You're like a dromedary breaking loose in her ways, sniffing in the wind. Oh, and anybody seeks her, they won't weary themselves in her month. They'll find those people. It's a whorish generation. People are cheating on God. But return to Christ. Return to Jesus Christ. I was lost in my sin. I was lost, filthy, vile, wicked. On my deathbed seven years ago, I couldn't breathe. Had heart failure. I was a marijuana smoker, addicted to pornography, a drunkard, a liar, a thief. I was covetous. And I knew, I knew the righteousness of Christ. Knowing the truth, I turned away the fear of God. The fear of God. <laughs> the fear of God is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom, a good understanding of those who do His commandments. You don't understand the love of God. The devil has false love. You understand. I am the church. I am the church. The church of the firstborn. The church is not a building. You're deceived. You're deceived by churchianity instead of about Christianity. The Bible says 
God does not dwell in temples made with hands. You are the temple of the living God. You are the temple of the living God. He wants it. Your body is a temple of God. If any man, any woman defile the temple of God, God will destroy that man. For the temple is you and the temple is holy. But I found mercy of, of, from God. What is the love of God, huh? To keep his commandments. Oh, the holy ones, they're spotless, they clean. Oh, you don't know what the church is because you don't have a part of the body. You don't understand what the body of Christ is. You're saying it's a building, I say it's a people. Oh, the Bible says, having been built on the holy apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ being the chief cornerstone. Hey, bud, I got a question. To know the love of God that passes knowledge. <laughs> to know the depths and heights and with the wisdom of God. Hey, but you're wise to do evil. Drugs. Didn't Jesus drink wine? Oh, you don't understand. <laughs> Answer that for me. Thank you. Give wine to those who are perishing, the Bible says. The Bible says, wine is a mocker and strong drink is raging. Those that are deceived thereby are not wise. Who, who has woe? Who has contention? Who has redness of eyes? Those who linger long at the wine. Those who go and no, I don't. I'm not a drunkard anymore. I used to be a drunkard. I used to be a pot smoker. And you are encouraging those things in your kids because you don't teach them about the truth. Merry Christmas! But I got mercy. Mercy's available if you tremble. The Bible says, "Kiss the son, lest he become angry and you perish in the way." What is wrath? This kindled but a little. Oh, the Bible says, "Be wise, O kings." Be instructed, O judges of the earth. <laughs> Serve the Lord with fear. Rejoice with trembling. Yes, rejoice. God's mercy is ever abundant. God's mercy endures forever, but so is truth does too. The word of God goes on forever. You can't change it. You can't. Uh, he will change you. He changed me, hypocrites. Hypocrites, sinners, Buddha vipers. God will change you. God will change you. Do you not know that friendship? Did you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God. You who want to be a friend of this world, you make yourself an enemy of God. Oh, be a friend of God, an enemy of this world. Stand against this world. The Bible says, what fellowship does righteousness have with unrighteousness? You guys are distracted by many things. You're distracted by many things. It's Christmas. It's Christmas and we're here to celebrate Christmas. You need to sit at Jesus' we're here to feet. Celebrate a community. You're celebrating Bud Light. Bud Light, hell yeah. Yeah. And that. marijuana smoking. Hell yeah, marijuana smoking. These poor kids. And it's Merry Christmas. These poor parents deceiving your kids. These Wrong example. Kids. Join in and following my example. Join in and following my Merry example. Christmas. And note those who so walk as you have us for a pattern. Your kids are in danger because of men like him. Wherever has kids. Merry Christmas. Your kids are in danger because they hear that it's okay to smoke weed. It's okay to get drunk. It's okay to be a homosexual. It's not okay to be gay. And a happy Look, man, you need you need the, the you need joy. You need joy from Christ. Happy is the man who fears God. Random? Random? Are you hearing what I'm saying? No, we said random things. Random things. Okay. Okay. So yelling random stuff to people on the street and hateful things isn't showing them. I hate sin. I do hate it's sin. It's not the love of God. You you need the Bible. The Bible says, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20, wisdom calls aloud outside. She raises her voice in the open squares. You're missing the Bible. You're missing the word of God. She's saying I shouldn't be raising my voice. The Bible says cry out. Raise your voice. Go tell my people their sins. I was responding to her. Finish your point. Go ahead. Yelling to random people and showing them hatred isn't showing them God. It's Not at all. showing them hatred, and it's making Christians look awful. Honestly, I'm preaching, and I and I and I hate evil. The Bible says that the Lord Jesus Christ hated Shut evil. Up. No, I don't. I'm going to preach. I'm going to preach. No, you need the Bible. You can't be a Christian thinking that way. You can't. No, you got to hate evil and preach for righteousness. You love right. You love what is evil and hate righteousness. That's why you come up against my speech. I'm not gonna hate people I love mercy. I want truckers to be mercy and turn. I want the truckers to have mercy and turn from their drunkenness ways. That's the mercy of God. That's the, that's the love of God. You liar. 
You are laying a snare for those who would prove in the gates. You're turning aside the just by empty words. Humble yourself, young lady, and fear God and understand why I'm here. I'm not here of my own accord. I wouldn't sit here of myself. I'll no longer praise Jesus so you're perfect. in Christ. I, well, I follow the way that is perfect. I have a clean conscience. I have clean hands. Yeah, you don't believe that anyone can live pure nowadays. Yeah, because you know what? All your families, you people are given over to masturbation. That's why you're not believing purity anymore. People who don't believe you guys are giving over to masturbation. You don't understand clean hands and a pure heart. The Bible says the pure in heart will see God. I rejected. I take all those thoughts into captivity. I delight in my wife. I delight in my wife. But you people are a nation full of adulterers. But God can change you. I took it off when I took a shower. I forgot to put it on. You people judge according to the flesh. I judge nobody. I want you to escape judgment. I want you to escape judgment. I know that you guys are just like how I was. God has amazing grace. God has amazing grace available for you. God wants to pardon your sins. Cleanse your iniquity. Yeah, God cares. The angels care. And the devils are after you. The devils are after you. The demons will get into your life. When an unclean spirit goes out of a man, it seeks for rest in dry and arid places and finds none. He says, I will return to the house from which I came. When he returns, he finds it clean, swept, and put in order, Jesus said. Then he says, I will go and bring seven more evil spirits, more wicked than the first. And they come and enter and dwell there, and the last state of that man is worse than the first, Jesus said. So unclean spirits, evil spirits, they go out, and they come back, and they bring in seven worse spirits. God is a forgiving God. It does not matter what you say. Yeah, but you're living in sin. You're cigarette smoking, and you're, you're flipping me off. You guys agree with the middle finger. You know, there used to be a time when, when flashing the middle finger would get you in trouble. You know, you know, you know, there used to be a time when flashing the middle finger would have got you in trouble, but not anymore. Alas, sinful nation. What's it going to take to wake you up? Awake you who sleep and rise from the dead that Christ may give you light. I believe every single word you say, my man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Here, Jesus you take this. Right now, take this. Watchers, take this. And smokers can't be you guys are in danger. You young people are, 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 are heading right into it. You don't see it. It's an enemy coming for you. The devil's got his angels and minions. Open door for sin in this lost generation. Your young kids are at stake. Right now, they're too young to even know the experience of sin. But they're headed to that. They're headed to it. You know what the Bible says? The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan with all powers, signs, and lying wonders. Lawlessness will abound in those days. But the truth, the truth, righteousness will govern a nation of people who are in Christ. I follow righteousness. I follow the law of Christ. This is not the way to reach you. Love, you don't understand. Love is the way to reach Get in the Bible and start understanding how God uses the preaching of the word. What's it going to take for people to wake up out of their lies of homosexuality? Wake up. Go ahead. You've been waiting. Go ahead. Um, I'm gay. Is that my parents' fault? My parents were both straight, and they raised me like any straight kid ever, and I am still gay. Okay. No, it's not your parents' fault. They're not guilty for your decisions. But you need to understand that the, 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 there is no gay gene, okay? Be, being homosexual is not like a skin color that you can't change. You can learn to love a man and be a wife and be a mother and be a sister. She don't want to be. She's happy the way she is. She wants to be deceived. God love her no matter what. She wants to do what God she wants to do. No That's what. not true. That That's not true. true. God loves everybody no matter he what. He loves them now, is. but when they die in their sin, there's he no more love. Loves you no matter what you're this saying, man is saying... This man is trying he to say you. that even he though people you. live in sin, he forgives hold on a minute, hold on. He forgives Can I give you my response? He, forgives you. he can forgive and he wants to forgive, but it's on his, it's on his conditions. Yes, there's a condition. If you repent, if, you, if my people who are called by our name would humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, I would hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and heal their land. 2 Chronicles 7, 14. But if you don't repent, and you don't see God, you don't pray to God, and you don't turn from your wicked way. I'm not a homosexual. I'm not a hypocrite. Hypocrites are homosexuals, and say that I'm only a homosexual. They do as I say and not as I do. That's a hypocrite. You're a hypocrite when you tell somebody, hey, don't, 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 don't go drinking and hang around my family. Well, you're drinking and hang around your family. God 
God, of course, loves everybody, but when people die in their sin, there's no more love. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 18, the fruit that your soul longed for has gone from you. All the things that are rich and splendid are gone from you. You shall find them no more at all. Today is the day of salvation. Where in the day that you hold on here? Where in the day you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. You see, now's the day of salvation. Today is the day of salvation. Why did God give her a bad heart? Merry Christmas. God loves you. Yeah, but why did God give her a bad heart? Why, why are you guys judging God? Why did he do it? Why is God that? Why is God at fault? God, God's not at fault. Yes, it is. No, he's not. He did, he did it. God doesn't sin. God doesn't sin. She's gonna die because of God. Hey, look, you know, you know, you know, it's terrible that people have to suffer. I, I had heart failure seven years ago. I know what suffering is all about. Okay. God made her have a bad heart. That's been on your life for like 20 minutes. And, and it's harmless. Okay, well, stop judging God. Why don't you see God? Why don't you, why don't you cling to the mercies of God? Look at you. You're guzzling beers, man. You don't care about your wife. You're joining out here guzzling beers. You guys, you guys are lost. You guys hate God. You guys don't trust in God. I trust in Jesus Christ. You know what? I have no stones. No stones. No stones. Hey, you're already condemned when you don't love the word. Hey, you know, the bottom line is this. There's no other savior of the body except Jesus, man. And you guys living in sin are not promoting anything that's good. You're promoting what is evil. You don't promote life. You don't promote righteousness. I know what heals people. The, the word of God. The word of God has a power to heal you. But people, look, hey man, you might, you might, you can gain everything this world has to offer, but if you lose your soul, you lost everything. You lost everything, man. Uh, my parents are very religious. I have tried to repent. I repent. I, um, I tried to go straight. I dated men for a long time, and I still never felt myself. How, how do I have homosexual urges? God wants me to be straight. If I truly repented and asked for forgiveness, and I'm still gay. Well, well sometimes, sometimes some bondages are harder to break than others. The Bible says to wait on the Lord and be of a good courage. He shall strengthen your heart. You know, for instance, uh, pornography was an addiction I had. It took even years of me constantly. I was wailing and been crying night after night, crying for deliverance, okay? And, I, you know, at times I thought I had it, but then I would turn back. Sometimes it would go dormant for weeks, even months. At one point I had 10 months clean, and, and, and then I went back. But you know what? I knew that I knew that I, I, it wasn't it wasn't God that was lacking. It was me. It was my faith. So so I didn't stop. The Bible says the Bible says that God comes to test you. God God wants to see if you're if you really will love Him above everything else. Because in the end, you're not gonna you're not gonna be 90 years old wanting to to to, to smoke weed and, and 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 have sex. I'm just saying. I'm giving an example and have sex and do all these things. You're not gonna be your body's not gonna be failing. You're gonna be looking for pleasure. You're gonna want righteousness. You're gonna want the Holy Spirit. You're gonna want you're gonna want the Spirit of Christ. You're gonna want the Spirit of Christ to be in you. The law of the Spirit of Christ. Now you're crazy to be drinking drinking that. Look at you, man. You're living in the 60s, man. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Why are you out here condemning everybody? No, I'm not condemning anybody. They're condemned already. The Bible condemns. Jesus said, the word that I speak will judge you in the last day. I speak the word. Why are you judging They're self-condemned. The Bible says, God, God, look, look, God waits for the end of days to really judge someone. Okay. Why should you or I judge anybody? I'm telling everybody they have a chance to get out of judgment. Have you ever talked to That's what my message is. How does, first you're telling, look, Jesus, you're, you're doing it Jesus, wrong. Jesus said, you're doing it look, way. no, you're, you're lying. lying. You don't understand. The Bible says, yeah, you're not telling, you're telling the truth because I know the word of God says something else. It's okay. The word of God says, whoever believes is not condemned, but whoever does not believe is condemned already. The Bible says, him we preach warning every man. Paul said in Titus, is that a marijuana leaf on there? Yes, there is. Oh, you're a wicked man. Wicked hypocrite. There's the truth right there. There's the truth right there. You love your sin. You're a hypocrite, man. You're a hypocrite. Oh, I used to smoke weed. I know I know about your getting high. I know about your getting blazed. I know about your pornography. I know about it. Yeah, you're judged. You're judged. You're judged. You're judged until you repent. If you repent, then you don't have to be judged. You're going to be condemned, man. You're under judgment right now, man. You die in your sin, you'll go straight to hell. Straight to hell for you, man, if you don't, if you don't repent. But you can. Straight to hell for marijuana smokers. That's you if you don't repent. You'll be burning in hell. You'll be burning in hell. Don't say I didn't warn you, young man, saying you're a Christian living that way. I don't pull any punches. I don't want that man to burn in hell. Because I was a marijuana smoker. 
Lost, lost, dying, swept away by various lusts. But when you get saved, you're staying on solid ground. Even death itself cannot snatch you out of Christ's hand. Don't you want to be saved? Don't you want to live forever? You got to do it in Christ. You live forever in Jesus, eternal life. A body like the angels. No more pain, no more sorrow. The Bible says, let God be true and every man a liar. Every man a liar. Oh, we become guilty before God. Oh, but the pride have risen up against the Lord. Pride comes before a fall and a haughty spirit before destruction. But humility, but when somebody gets low, when somebody repents, confesses their sin, and they turn to God through Jesus Christ, that one is blessed. That one is accepted of God. So I'm here today to call you to God through Jesus. No one gets to God except through the Son. You know, this is an evil generation. Seeks a sign. No sign will be given to it. People are looking for God to do more than what He's already done. He's not going to do it. Jesus Christ already died for sins. According to the Scriptures, He was buried and was risen again according to the Scriptures. But yet men love darkness, Jesus said, because their deeds are evil. Jesus said the light came into the world, but men love darkness rather than the light. You're living in sin, living in drunkenness. You love darkness rather than the light because your deeds are evil. You need to repent. You need to fear God. I fear the living God. I give Him all, I give him all praise, honor, and glory because He is the one who has power to cast you into hell. Jesus is going to come back and He's going to give to every man according to their deeds. Jesus said, Behold, my reward is with me to give to every man according to their work. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Jesus Christ, He is the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the ending. And the end is coming. The end is going to come. And you're going to give an account to God for your wickedness. That's why you need to turn and become a new create creature, creature, a new creation in Jesus. That's when you turn from your drunkenness, turn from your pornography, turn from your homosexuality, turn, unless you end up in hell. You'll end up destroyed. You'll end up consumed by your lusts. The Bible says, Lest you bite and devour one another, you'll be consumed by one another. Folks, you need to turn that faith. Trust in Christ. He's the only way to be saved. No other name under heaven given among men where she must be saved. It's wicked. It's wicked. Young girls selling beer. That's evil. Adulterous generation. A generation of vipers, brood of vipers, John the Baptist said. Oh, you're a wine bibber. You're guzzling alcohol. Isn't that what isn't that what these holidays are really about? Guzzling alcohol, getting all wasted, not even in your right mind. You're not even in the right mind. How can you be a blessing to your family? You're full of evil spirits. That's what beer does. Gives you spirits. Brings you judgment from God. I came here to find you get saved. That you might have salvation in Jesus. Jesus does not want you to get drunk. Jesus does not want you to look at pornography. This is a wicked time. You people are in danger of hell. I came here to stretch out my hand to you. That you can find life and life more abundantly through the Son of God. I was given life through Jesus. Yet yeah, you're trusting in what? You're trusting in your money. You're trusting in your wisdom. But it's not going to save you. It's not going to work when God comes, when he returns. The Bible says the Lord Jesus Christ will return in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that do not know God. 
It's wicked, wicked, wicked. You people do not fear God putting your kids out here to sell beer. Dressed inappropriately, young girls dressed inappropriately of the devil. The devil wants you to continue living in sin. Oh, you're children of the devil and you need to repent and become converted that your sins may be blotted out. Your sins are against God. You need to be for God. You need to be living for God. The Bible says a man is a slave to what he obeys, whether of sin leading to death or of obedience leading to righteousness. Do you not know that if a man is, that to whom a man presents himself a slave to obey, he is that one slave? Oh, no, people are not obeying Jesus. When you turn from your evil deeds, you will be obedient to Jesus. The Bible says, do not be conformed to this world. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That you may be able to prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. There's a perfect will of God. Your sanctification, that you would abstain from sexual immorality. That each one of you would abstain from drugs, your cigarettes, your alcohol abuse. That you would turn and live. The Bible says the Lord takes no pleasure in the death of one who dies, but that you would turn and live. Turn at God's rebuke, lest you be smitten with a curse, lest you die in your sins and never see the light again. Oh, now is your day. Now is the time of salvation. It's now. Don't put off the day of the Lord. It was too late. It's too late when you die in, in your sins, sinful ways. People are living in their in their lives of this world. You're, no, you're, you're, you're promoting homosexuality. They don't speak that way around your kids. That's wicked. You're a wicked man. You need Jesus. You don't have Jesus, man. You don't know Jesus. You wouldn't speak that way. You wouldn't cuss. Use foul language. Blaspheme God. What has he done for you but giving you life? Giving you life, another chance at life? An opportunity, an open door for you to find him. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord. As to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. But if you forsake God, he will forsake you. When you're in Christ, you're protected. God put us on this earth for a reason, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't listening. To live with in righteousness. The Bible says the kingdom of God is not in eating and drinking it, but in righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Oh, I've lost my mind for Jesus. You're crazy to live in sin. You're crazy to live for all your wicked stuff on the internet. All the wicked stuff on your televisions. You're following the prince of the power of the air. The spirit that works in all the sons and daughters of disobedience. For whom we all once were partakers of that nature. Fulfilling the desire of the flesh and of the mind. And we're by nature children of wrath just as the others. But God, who is rich in kindness, according to his great love, which, which he loved us. Oh, but people are misusing God's love. They're misusing God's grace. And they're in for a surprise on the day of judgment. The day when Christ returns, he calls you into account. And the books are open. Oh, the Bible says, Behold, I saw a great white throne judgment. And he who sat on it, from whose face the heaven and earth fled away. Oh, and it says, and I saw books and another book, which was the book of life. And men were judged by the things written in the books, every one according to their work. Don't be judged by God in your sin. And end up, the Bible says, everybody whose name is not found written in the book of life will be cast into the lake of fire, which burns, it is the second death. That's for every person that is not a born again Christian. 
and not living for Jesus. You got to turn. It's not about going to church. It's about being in Christ. I'm in Christ. I follow Jesus wherever he goes. Jesus led me here tonight to preach to you, to repent, put faith, trust, or confidence in what Jesus did at the cross. If you trust in your own works, you trust in your own righteousness, you'll, 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 you'll be deceived. You can't do it without Christ. You need the Holy Spirit dwelling in you, abiding in you. The Holy Spirit, Jesus said, the Spirit of truth, sent to abide forever with you. But you have evil spirits in your drunkenness. You have evil spirits because of pornography. You have evil spirits because you love sex out of marriage. Folks, do not be deceived. The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. No fornicator, no idolater, no homosexual, no sodomite, no thief, no drunkard, no reviler, no, no extortioner, no thief has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Such were some of you, but you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the spirit of our God. Oh, the Holy Spirit, when you get washed, regenerated, you'll follow Jesus Christ and you'll turn and walk with him. And I know you guys got demons. There's demons in your life. There's Christmas demons in your life. Lying to your kids about Santa Claus. There's no Santa Claus. You guys are, are, are going to be held accountable, parents, for encouraging these evil things, these wicked traditions of men. They're not of Jesus. They're not of Christ. Remember me?